The red squirrel, a rare sight in the UK. It's high on the list of the country's endangered species, with estimates of fewer than 300,000 nationwide. Breeding programs like this one at the British Wildlife Centre help boost numbers, and now a new collaborative project is going a step further, launching a high-tech acoustic monitoring scheme. It uses artificial intelligence to listen out for red squirrels in the wild. And so we can use how much natural noise there is as a measure of, of biodiversity or of the health of the ecosystem. So we can look at um, whether there are any, any predictors of how well squirrels will do based on how well biodiversity generally is doing. The devices will be set up in areas where squirrels are usually found, streaming real-time data back to researchers at Bristol University. As part of its global conservation initiatives, Chinese communications company Huawei has helped develop the technology, working with naturalists to identify the distinctive red squirrel call. We use their expertise, I mean, without them we simply couldn't do it, um, to actually uh, program the first bit of the artificial intelligence algorithm. And then the algorithm becomes self-learning. It starts to get a better understanding of the environment and gradually it learns more and more. The hope is the data will reveal more about why the red squirrel is struggling. The red squirrel has all but vanished from most of southern England now. And it's the dominance of the grey squirrel in areas of woodland like this one, which has contributed to its demise. The larger and stronger grey squirrel often wins the fight for food over its red rival. It also carries a virus which can kill red squirrels. It means the two species can't live side by side. Researchers believe by snooping on squirrels, they'll discover more secrets about their habits. But the technology also has the potential for wider use in conservation. Although the focus of this initial project is on red squirrels, the ability will be there to, to recognise the calls of many of the different species, not just mammals indeed, um, and, and get a much richer picture of how biodiversity is doing. All this may seem like it's bringing a tech giant down to earth. But Huawei says the project has provided a unique opportunity. Of course, we're very excited to see how far can we push the technology because in, for artificial intelligence, it's, it's, it's a new field. Um, and, and we really love to see how through projects like this, we can also push the technology to new levels. Conservationists will start analysing the new data from next spring creating a clearer picture of what lies ahead for this tiny creature and how best to protect it. Kitty Logan, CDTN, Surrey.